So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? As I ever will be. Turn to us at last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne. We'll rebuild. Me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it... One you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported, no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me when I needed you the most. Freya, please. I thought you were dead. No. I've had to live lifetimes. But those are the last awful words I said to you. Have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. I mourned you. Oh, I missed you so much. And I, you, Yngwie. But I won't. Find myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? <laughs> uh. 
Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare heads. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if and you ain't staying here, bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tyr. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, brother, care to meet our new allies? Or shall we depart? Oh, uh, excuse me, can y'all stop and help a lady out, please? <sighs> what is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the river delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. So frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. Oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge! Mm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. May I ask? Still owe me the story of who made these things. Tell me about the camp dog. Probably escaped the blows in their greeting. She was beyond me. But he never gave up. She healed. And hasn't left us since. She's a sweet girl. She's pure. Ready when you are.
And Lady Freya? You know what you want? Come back if you need more crap. Thanks for grabbing that for us. What'll it be? After all this time, she's still a beaut. Take care now. I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word.
What's that? This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Bruno. Go ahead. Carve the letter. Suna. It's an incantation. I'll su na. The elves in Freyr's camp mentioned a gate like this in Alfheim. Kept on about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barons. A trip to Alfheim. Well, we can decide at the gateway. This boat should get us there if we can clear those vines. Remember what to do? log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. Looks like soundstone to me. I'm sure those new arrows Brock gave you would make quick work of that. We're clear. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Hmm. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. What is this? The crest of Skirnir. Never quite as smart as he thought. Good. We can explore the river now. And hopefully right some old wrongs. What is your unfinished business? I left something behind, near the falls. 
Your wedding site. Now, why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. Brother, you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. Freya, there's something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Grimthur whispered to you? Who? Grimthur, the son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Enough. We will continue later. Before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye. But surely the lad's got more sense than to- Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? Sucker, he owes me one. Thank me now and eternally. Well, looky there. Glad you can make the trip, your goddessness. I put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow. But then he and Sindri got into it over something. Mm, I don't rightly know who killed the dress. Well, come on then. Hey, Tear! Wake up! You got company. Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sindri's so-called study over yonder? You're sure he won't mind? Mind? He'll be thrilled. Joints getting classier by the day. I never thought I'd have the pleasure of seeing you again, Frick. Uh, don't call me that. I haven't been that person in a long time. But I'm happy to see you, too. I'd feared the worst for so long. You must have been. Nothing so bad as what you suffered. Freya, I am so, so sorry to hear what happened to Balder. He was only a boy when I saw him last, but I know he meant more to you than anything. We're not supposed to keep secrets. You better screw his head back on, and I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Who did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life! You are my son! Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth. The truth is you're being a complete asshole. Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind. He doesn't have any faith in me. It's fine if he keeps secrets. It's fine if Mom did. That is not fine. Her secrets are hard to reach step with this path. Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother. What you have done is lie. 
Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin. But I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me, at Freya, at Tia. Odin did this to us. What's well, got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great. I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you are going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me. Listen. Set, let go. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't. It's Sindri. Just, just try to keep control. <laughs> Midgard. Keep it coming. You're just helping me stay warm. <sighs> Gotta find some shelter. <laughs> <laughs> 